my love hello we are back and can you feel that it's the feeling of your life about to change Ooh, so good you are going to love today's tapping practice it is an expansive one as you probably already saw from the title Today, I'm going to be guiding you through a beautiful tapping practice to support you in manifesting your future desires, the desires that your soul is calling you towards. If you're new around here, hello, my love. I'm Lauren. I'm so happy that you're here. I am an EFT practitioner and your intuition coach and guide. And today, I'm excited to guide you through some tapping magic. So before we begin, why can we use tapping to manifest our desires? And what do the two even have to do with each other? Tapping is an energetic practice. While we are tapping on these points, we are tapping on meridian points. And the meridians in traditional Chinese medicine are energetic highways that flow through the body. So as you're tapping, you are working with your life energy. And everything is energy, yes. Our desires that haven't even yet manifested in this physical reality, we can't see them, we can't touch them, we can't hear them, yet they hold a certain energetic code that I believe we can tap into as well. I believe that your desires are powerful maps that are guiding and leading you towards your truest, most expansive life. I do not believe that they are simply fanciful dreams. I believe they are powerful maps. And I also believe that in some other dimensional reality, yes, we are going there. It's the space that I live and breathe in, and I want to guide you there with me. I believe that in some other dimensional reality, this desire already is. It already exists. And this future version of yourself, future, what is time, this other version of yourself is calling you forward. That is why, that is the power of our desires. You can feel it in your body. It feels like this invisible tug pulling you forwards. Yes. So, Today, we are going to use tapping to one, support you in energetically aligning with a specific desire, and two, the other thing that's happening that's really important when it comes to manifestation is sometimes our desires, hmm, I'm gonna change that. Often our desires, even though we can spend so much time dreaming about all that would be possible in our lives or all that we're going to feel when we finally have the physical manifestation of that desire, those very same desires often are triggering our fight or flight response. They're often triggering fear and trauma and doubt and shame and insecurity and unworthiness all within our bodies, which is of course keeping us disconnected from that desire in the first place. As you're tapping, you're actually helping to calm the nervous system and halt that fight or flight response, which is why tapping is so incredibly powerful for things like anxiety, fear, overwhelm. And it's also why it's incredibly powerful for manifesting your desires and aligning with those desires. Because as you're tapping through this and speaking this out loud, you are reminding your body, oh my God, this desire is safe for me. It is safe for me to have this. It is safe for me to be this. It is safe for me to do this. It is safe for me to experience this. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. So to begin, I want you to grab something that you can write with. And I want you to write down one specific desire that you have, one one specific desire. We're going to work with one specific desire. I just said that a lot <laughs> today. Okay. So, and I want you to write it down. Go ahead and bring it into this physical reality by writing it down. And I also want to encourage you to make sure that this desire is a soul aligned desire. 
that it feels aligned on all fronts, mind, body, and soul. And is not just uh, a superficial desire that you feel called to because it's who you should be or how you should be experiencing life or what you should be capable of. Hmm. I wanna invite you into the space of really tuning to like, is this a desire that originates from my soul? And then write that down. Beautiful. Now, as we begin, I want you to tap on the point that you see me tapping on and repeat after me. And the whole time we're tapping, actually before we begin, let's do this. For just a moment, go ahead and take a slow breath in. As you exhale, close your eyes. And in your mind's eye, I want you to envision this desire. Envision yourself there, having it, experiencing it, living in it, being it, doing it, receiving it. Really allow yourself to see that, to feel what it would feel like. And I want you to stay attuned to that the entire time we're tapping, okay? So open your eyes, tap on the point you see me tapping on, and repeat after me. I consciously slow down and show up for this work. because I deeply believe in me. <sighs> Even though doubts sometimes arise, I choose to trust that everything is working out for me. I attune to the energy of my soul's deepest desires. because I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Beautiful. Staying attuned to that desire, envisioning it, feeling it, being there. Repeat after me. All of this is possible for me. Beautiful. All of this is possible for me. Anything is possible for me. My desires are powerful maps. <sighs> Calling me home to the truths of my soul. I trust them. I believe in them. I believe in me. Beautiful, as we tap here on the eyebrow point, I want you to slow down for a moment. Close your eyes if it helps. And I want you to tune into any resistance that you may be feeling around this desire. Any doubt, any fear, any disbelief. And as we tap through this round, stay attuned to that and repeat after me. Even when I feel resistance to my desires and fear and doubt, I choose to believe that anything is possible. I feel the resistance and I let it go. <sighs> I feel the fear and I let it go. <sighs> I feel the doubt and I let it go. I release the stories and beliefs that make me doubt myself. With every breath I breathe, I release them. <sighs> I release all that is no longer in service of me. I release all that is no longer in service of my greatest expansion. My desires are safe for me. My desires are so safe for me. 
It is safe for me to receive my soul's deepest desires. It is safe for me to have everything I've ever wanted. I trust my desires. I believe in them. I believe they are possible for me. I believe in me. I feel my desires awakening within me. Like an invisible tug pulling me forwards. Towards all that is possible for me. <sighs> I expand my capacity to receive all of it. And release all that is no longer in higher service of me. <clears throat> I expand my capacity to receive all of it. and release all that is no longer serving me. I believe in myself completely. Beautiful, love, let your hand float to your lap, close your eyes and take several slow expansive breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth, allowing that energy to move and shift and flow and just feel how it feels to be so connected with the energy of this desire to feel embodied in it, to know that it is so possible for you, that this reality already exists and it is calling you towards it. As you're ready, take another breath in, let it go, open your eyes, come back into your space. This, my love, is a beautiful practice that you can do every single day. I really encourage you to, as you're using this practice, stick with that one desire. Allow yourself every time to go deeper, to connect more deeply with that desire. This is such a powerful practice to weave into your manifesting practices and rituals. And remember, to honor your desires. They are powerful, they are purposeful, they are meaningful, they are not silly, they are not fanciful. They carry a powerful energy that is calling you forward. I believe in you. I believe in all that is possible for you. It's such a gift as always to get to talk with you. So I hope that I see you back here soon and remember to like and subscribe and drop a comment below and let me know what tapping videos you would love to see me create and share with you. See you soon.